So um, we actually went up to 26 miles per hour and I had to, you know, take my time, get my mind right. I'm like, this treadmill is moving kind of fast. As soon as I realized that I was going to be able to reach it, then I was like, I might as well go ahead and try to achieve it. Never skip a rep, every workout. You know, I always try to be the best version of myself throughout every day. Win the Heisman, be the first wide receiver taken in the NFL draft, and then the bottom one says become a Hall of Famer. What's going on, everybody? This is Zachariah Branch. I play wide receiver, and this is No Days Off. Don't, don't pay attention to this, but it's basically saying you ain't working. You're not meant for over here. It's 106 right now. A, I ain't gonna say I like it, but I'm definitely used to it now. Don't come out here forecasting the weather no more. We all know it's hot. <laughs> oh yeah, no, our training has definitely been very intense. Um, I always joke around and say, coming into college, the workouts aren't harder than my dad's workouts. Dynamic warm-ups is a little bit more functional. You go through a slow, progressive warm-up, not just static stretching. The drop-down groin stretch. You want to work the inside, get your hips loose. And then open it up here. Basically open up your obliques. And then going back and stretching the hamstrings. Just basically getting three muscle groups at one time. I mean, some people kind of have like a short, condensed warm-up, but this is a full-blown like track workout, track warm-up. So we get our bodies going, making sure our muscles are firing. You probably couldn't even count how many times they've done it, but it's always been the type of warm-ups that they do. If we were only gonna lift a day and not run, they'll still go through the full sequence of dynamic warm-ups. Takes over 2,000 plus reps to correct a bad habit. So you gotta learn how to do it right, do it right till you get it right. I'm feeling good right now. Starting to sweat a little bit, but it's good though. <laughs> My dad would just sat us down and was like, if you guys really want to do this, then I mean, I could set it out all for you guys. You'll see here in a minute, it's definitely serious. My dad, you know, he always pushed me and my brother from a young age. So really that having that and then having my brother and uh, we push each other to the max each and every day. Me and him always been working out together, just trying to make each other better, push each other to strive for greatness. Ankle strengthening, so they're pushing up high as possible, just strengthening up those muscles in the feet so you don't end up having ankle sprains or soft tissue issues within your ankle. There's some work though, but some good work. You see me sweating. Um, definitely is a blessing just, you know, getting the chance to train with him, all the knowledge that he has. Yeah, we haven't gotten into the workout yet. This is all part of the warm up. We're just gonna do it and run right now. Uh, eight seconds, a three second drive pain, and then five second hold. Hold that form. Supposed to simulate re like resistance training. Kind of like we have like maybe a sled or something behind us or a parachute, but it's really like more resistance with the band works. This is where we recover. We got another set. We get this working. Yeah, every weekday, Saturdays, Sunday recovery. And repeat. 19.4. He hit 19.4 miles an hour just now. What's your fast today? 19.4? Yeah. We're moving right now. Went from 18.6 to 19 to today. But you can't get fast until you go fast. So you got to work. Looking forward to this season, for real. I started playing sports at a young age. My dad uh, played collegiate ball at San Jose State, and then he played some professional later on. So we played flag from like four. So I think like seven years old, and then we just fell in love with the game ever since. We was always competing back and forth. That's how I feel like, you know, we got better at our craft. If this is something I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it to the fullest. And I wanna achieve every goal that I possibly can while I'm doing it. He's just going there trying to just train at the edge every day. It definitely does push us to the edge, and we definitely do train at the edge each and every day. Our warm-up progression is usually like a uh, clean complex. Um, we'll pretty much hit our clean complex, which is RDLs, um, high pulls, hang cleans, front squats, and then my dad was the sprint coach at Bishop Warren for a couple years. So here we were in middle school. We were training with guys that you see in the NFL today, like Dorian Thompson Robinson, Cedric Tillman, and all those guys. So Zachariah's a five-time junior Olympian, and Zion's a three-time junior Olympian. Making that switch over to college, and you know, just trying to put out my best effort uh, every time I can. Our workout itself was just an upper body workout program. That power movement translates for every sport is power movement, the band work and the ball work. We wanted to transfer it over with load. So working off the bands, you know, give you a chance to go out and move in a fast switch movement. But when we're training them, put them in those positions where it's like, you're gonna exhaust everything you have for 15 seconds. Flats right here from these. And a lot of times those durations are way longer than a traditional play in the sport that they have. The opportunities don't go away, they go to somebody else. You never know when is it gonna be the last time you get a chance to do, you know, something that's important to you. This will probably be the last time they'll lift this heavy or the last time they'll run this fast until they go into training camp. 
Oh yeah, no, it definitely is my mentality. I feel like if you want to be the best of the best, then you can't take any days off. Like if it's a holiday, it's your birthday, like you better still be getting that work in because there's somebody else across the country that you might meet later on that's getting that work in as well. So me and my brother both want to be as great at something. I feel like no days off is something that you have to take pride in. Uh, each and every day you got to be better in your craft at something you do. We just push each other each and every day to do that.